could you comment on the Eastern approach and vision when it comes to time? We all have different perceptions of time, and when you're in flow, time seems to stop. Is that something that has a physiologic basis that you can measure or, or get a clue as to what is going on, how some people have a very different perception? It's not the, <clears throat> you know, we live in a world where everyone's running out of time, right? As if it was a thing. So time, as defined in the Eastern wisdom traditions, is the continuity of memory that uses your ego identity as an internal reference point. Once you go beyond the ego identity, there's no time, because there's no subject-object split. Now that is a whole theoretical basis, but fundamentally, there is only now. So the most important activity is what you're doing now. The most important person in your life is the one you're in front of now. The most important thing you could be doing is now. And if you're not present and you're thinking only of the future, when the future arrives, you won't be present for it. So what's the point? So you know, if you stay in that state of being, which I was talking about awareness, then there's only now. And you are not metabolizing time the way uh, somebody who's running out of time would do. So it's not even what they're doing. I mean, you still have to catch the flight, you have to do this, that, the other. It's the quality of your awareness. And so, um, to translate an Ayurvedic expression, um, the metabolism of time results in aging. You metabolize time. And the, in the Ayurvedic literature, we are time's food. We are the food of time. Uh, and um, uh, you minimize entropy, literally, because you know if you're running out of time, if that's your internal dialogue, then your heart rate is up, you're likely to have more arrhythmias, your platelets are jittery with high levels of adrenaline, they're huddling together and leading to a clotting cascade. And so um, if you use that internal dialogue, I'm running out of time, and you have a heart attack, then you've run out of time. Right? So there is only now, and now is the window to eternity. Eternity doesn't mean endless time. It means presence of being. Because being is not in time. Experience is in time. Thought is in time. Emotions are in time. The body is in time. But the fundamental, ontological, primitive awareness, being, existence, is not in time. Now, if I had the time, we could do a meditation on that. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.